That dark era which still brings chills among people has become history now. A bright era has commenced. With this, Nepal Electricity Authority is determined to generate enough energy for the government vision which has formulated a work plan to carry forward the journey of prosperity in the speed of light. That is why the authority is putting so much effort into increasing energy generation, reducing electricity leakage, reaching out to its consumers as much as possible, slashing its expenses, expanding transmission and distribution lines, and maintaining good governance. With the direction of the Right Honourable Prime Minister, the leadership of Honourable Minister for Energy, cooperation of intergovernmental agencies, skills of technicians, hard work of staffs, and the support of public, the efforts made by Nepal Electricity Authority have paid off. It has not just made tremendous improvements, but has taken a commendable leap in recent years. Until the fiscal year 2015-16, we lived under dark due to prolonged power cuts. Even in monsoon, people were obliged to bear the power outage for eight hours and in winter, they remained under dark for 14 long hours. People were compelled to schedule their work as per the load shedding routine. However, we were successful in leaving it in the past. This isn't a miracle, but it's just scientific and efficient demand and supply side management. Nepal Electricity Authority was able to garner immense appreciation and encouragement from the people after this success. However, ending load shedding was not our only goal. It is our responsibility to maintain the balance between demand and supply and boost up energy generation. That is why we have speeded up work of many under construction projects which were abandoned halfway. We began getting electricity from 30 megawatt Jamelia hydropower project of Darchula by solving all the problems which had halted the project earlier. Similarly, the 60 megawatt Trishuli 3A hydropower project, which was damaged by the devastating earthquake of 2015, was recently completed and has even come into operation. Meanwhile, final preparations are underway to bring the much awaited Kulekhani 3 hydropower project into operation. Not just that, the work of other hydropower projects such as Rasubagari 111 megawatt, Middle Bhutekoshi 102 megawatt, Upper Sanjan 14.8 megawatt, and Sanjan 42.5 megawatt, promoted by Chilime Hydropower Company Limited a subsidiary of Nepal Electricity Authority is in the final stage of completion. Apart from that, the work for Rahughat Hydropower 40 MW, Tanahu 140 MW and Upper Trishuli 3B 37 MW has also been intensified in the recent months. Upper Tamakoshi Hydropower Project 456, which is one of the national pride projects that came to a halt after the catastrophic earthquake, is now in the final stage of completion. Moreover, we are going to start the Dud Koshi Storage Hydroelectric Project, 635 megawatts. Upper Arun Hydropower Project, 1060 megawatt Tamakoshi 5 100 megawatt soon with high priority we appreciate the Asian Development Bank the World Bank and AIIB for their interest and support to develop these projects yes Nepal indeed started using electricity since the inauguration of Potaping Hydropower Project in May 1911. But even after 100 years of history, we struggle to boost our potential 
not more than 1,000 megawatt. However, we have aimed to generate more than 2,000 megawatts of electricity from this fiscal year. So, in a way, we are doubling the achievement of a century in just three years. This time, it won't just be a blow as the Nepal Electricity Authority has also encouraged private sectors for the generation of electricity. The procedure for purchasing electricity is going forward in an exciting pace. We have signed agreements for purchasing total of 6,044 megawatt of electricity from 340 private sector projects, out of which 561 megawatt electricity generated by 83 projects has been connected to the national grid. Currently, 120 projects with a total potential for producing 2,614 megawatt of electricity are already under construction while efforts are being taken to manage funds for the construction of 137 projects which will be generating 2,869 megawatts of electricity. We have also managed to successfully transmit the generated electricity to places. In the last fiscal year alone, 757 circuit kilometer line was constructed while 606 kilometers was charged. Similarly, on the distribution line, 10,000 circuit kilometer has been constructed and charged. Last year, a total of 37 projects which remained stalled since long were completed while the contract for 13 such projects was scrapped and a new tender procedure was started for all of them. Furthermore, preventing electrical leakage was another big challenge for us. Fortunately, we have managed to tackle that quite well. Until three years ago, electricity leakage was at 25.78%, which has now come down to 15.32%. Nepal Electricity Authority has been running campaigns to curb electricity theft, monitoring the distribution of electricity, improvement of transmission, distribution lines and substations. By lowering 10.46% of electricity leakage in just three years, Nepal Electricity Authority has managed to earn an additional 70 million US dollars. Nepal Electricity Authority has not just prioritized the growth of electricity supply but also on maintaining financial discipline. In the fiscal year 2011-12, the government wrote up Nepal Electricity Authority's cumulative loss of 270 million US dollar. But that was not an end as the Nepal Electricity Authority continued suffering huge losses. In fact, it witnessed more losses than before. There was a cumulative loss of 340 million US dollar within five years up to fiscal year 2015-16. In the fiscal year 2015-16, authority bore an annual loss of 90 million US dollars. But history has changed. The same year, authority started climbing up to a surprise of a lot of people authority earned a profit of 15 million US dollars in the fiscal year 2016-17 in the following year it doubled its profit to 29 million US dollars and here is the data for the fiscal year which shows the profit of 72 million US dollars this is not magic it is the determination to lead the nation towards the path of prosperity. This is the will to avoid loss and make a profit for the future. In the previous fiscal year, Nepal Electricity Authority paid 160 million US dollars to the government on various titles including loan and interest. There was a time when the authority was obliged to spread its hands before the Ministry of Finance even to pay the salaries of its staffers. But now, other than reducing its loss and paying government loan, it has become capable 
of spending for its infrastructural development. Apart from using the capital budget provided by the government, Nepal Electricity Authority has been investing more than 100 million of its own capital on infrastructural development annually. That is the reason every year more and more people are being connected with electricity, which is a matter of pride for us. By including all kinds of customers, the number of great connected consumers has reached 4.5 million so far, which is 78% of the total population. We have paid equal heed in supplying the electricity in the industrial sector. Industries which are responsible for making the capital expenditure, creating employment, increasing production and national income have the right to use as much electricity as required. The cooperation of the government, industrialists, laborers, entrepreneurs, farmers and others have contributed to increase the economic growth of the country in the last few years. We are so proud of that. Our objective is not just to raise our income, but also to expand infrastructures and our services. Nepal Electricity Authority will be actively involved in the mega campaign of the government to make electricity accessible in every nooks and corners of the country within the next four years. Development of communication infrastructure will be prioritized to make the government's Digital Nepal program a success. As per this, all substations will be operated and Enterprises Resource Planning ERP, will be launched and communication infrastructure will be expanded as much as possible. We have already started replacing the three-phase meter and TOD meters with smart meters. This work has been kicked off from Kathmandu. Likewise, considering the safety of the people and the beauty of Kathmandu Valley, we have launched our project to lay underground cables replacing electric poles. The energy sector of Nepal would not have been able to achieve so much success had it not received continuous support and cooperation of our development partners. We would like to express our gratitude towards them for their contributions. As in the days to come, the energy sector will require more investment and for that, the internal sources won't be enough. So, we urge all our development partners to make investment and help us grow. Following the footsteps of the government to add to the economic growth, the authority is moving forward, not just intending to generate energy as per the demand, but also with the vision of making the organization more disciplined and respected. We have come across from that dark era. There is no turning back. We believe the success that we gained is not momentum. Nepal Electricity Authority is all set to become an example of how public organizations are not the burden but the strength of the nation.